Hey everyone, welcome to the next five minutes or less video. This is going to be on the atmosphere. Here we go. So we're going to be talking about the layers of the atmosphere today. There are four layers of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is all the air and the gas that we breathe, and they're composed of very important gases that protect us from the sun's intense UV radiation. So without these gases, which is actually called ozone here, we would get really, really bad sunburn, which would not be good. So the atmosphere is very, very important. It's mostly made of nitrogen and oxygen. Those are the main gases that we breathe in as we take a breath. So everyone mainly thinks it's mostly oxygen, but it's actually mostly nitrogen. And like we said before, there are four layers. The layers are divided based on when the temperature changes. So as you go up into the atmosphere, the temperature fluctuates. At first it goes down, and then it goes up, and then it goes down, and then it goes up. So each time it switches, that's the next layer of the atmosphere. So this is sort of what it looks like. I'm going to sort of explain this little graph to you real quick. Here is our line of data right here, the black line right here. You could follow it all the way up through all four layers. We have the troposphere, which is layer one down here. Stratosphere is layer two. Mesosphere is layer three. And thermosphere is layer four. These pauses here are the boundaries between the layers. So the tropopause is when the troposphere ends and the stratosphere begins. The temperature's on the bottom, the altitude's on the side. You got kilometers on the left and miles on the right over here. So depending on what unit they're going to ask you about, you have to pick the correct unit. So for example, if you were to pick the stratopause, that would be at this spot. And that would be about 30, a little more than 30 miles high, and it would be 50 kilometers high. The temperature at that spot would be zero degrees Celsius, which is on the bottom. If you picked this spot on the mesopause, that is 50 miles high, 80 kilometers high, and the temperature there is negative 90 degrees Celsius. So you could pick any spot on the black line and be able to do that. On this one is the pressure graph. As you could see, the highest pressure is at the bottom here, 1.0. This is air pressure. And as you go up into the sky following the black line, it gets closer and closer to zero. So the pressure always goes down as you go up. And it's going to be the same thing over here with the water vapor. As the water vapor on the ground is 40, as you go up in the air, the line starts to get closer and closer to zero. Eventually, there's no more water vapor right above here. So this means that above this line, there's very rare chance that there's going to be weather. So most of the weather on Earth is in this zone, which is like the troposphere and the lower stratosphere. So planes, airplanes, tend to fly above this layer right here, so that way they can avoid weather. So just a couple of facts about each one. The troposphere is the lowest layer. The temperature decreases as you go higher up, like when you climb a mountain, there's snow at the top of the mountain. And air is heated through conduction on the ground, and then it rises up through the air through convection currents. It's the only layer with water, and this is where most of our weather is going to be. The stratosphere is the layer above the troposphere. That's going to be your, where your ozone is. That's going to protect us from all that harmful UV radiation from the sun. The temperature gets warm here, and unfortunately, pollution actually destroys this ozone layer, which actually causes more UV to get in. So we want to cut down on pollution to try to rebuild that ozone layer. The mesosphere is the next layer. This is where most of our meteors are going to burn up. Sometimes the meteors are too big and they eventually get through, but it's very cold in this layer. And then lastly, the thermosphere is the highest layer. There's not that much air here. This is where the space shuttle orbits and it gets very warm. So the only other thing we talked about is as you go up, the air pressure always goes down because there's less air above you. Uh, this is a good example here. If someone's standing at station A, over here, there's this much air above them, so that's a lot of air. But if you go up a mountain over here, if you're standing here, there's only that much air. So there's less air, and if you were on the top of the mountain over here, there would be the least amount of air above you. So the lowest pressure is up here because there's the least, least amount of air. And the highest pressure would be down here because it's a most amount of air on top of their head. So that was the atmosphere in five minutes or less. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.